Minister adjusting the observance of this year's Ramadan season as the world grapples with a health crisis. Some Islamic clerics are asking Muslims to see the global pandemic as a way of retracing their steps back to their creator. TV News correspondent Jokia Dissa visited the home of a Muslim family and now reports. It's the beginning of the Ramadan season for the year 2020, a period of compulsory fasting for Muslims as they strive to fulfill the tenets of Islam. But the outbreak of coronavirus may slow down activities observed by Muslims during this special month. This is the Al Abibiya Mosque. The Ramadan period is usually a beehive of activities for this Islamic society, which in the past will feed an average of 2,000 persons per day throughout the duration of the fast. The praying ground, the mats, and the pulpit are deserted. The food bank is empty too. Cows to be slaughtered every other day throughout Ramadan are nowhere in sight. 60-year-old Farouk Suleiman is the chairman of the Hal Abibiya Food Bank program. It housed me an average of 15 caterers and more than 50 volunteers usually team up to make the three course meals for the 2,000 people. All that has become practically impossible. No thanks to the ravaging coronavirus. We feed 2,000 persons daily with three course meals. That is fruits and dates, water, then hot drink and bones, then the main course meal. In the absence of the three course meal, the mosque now shares food items and cash as it receives them. Beneficiaries say they are most grateful. What we are doing different from what we have done last year is we are giving more of the food items now and giving cash, which we are not used to doing. I am happy because like in our house now, we don't have food to, for this Ramadan and now we got it so we are happy. What we have in our account, we spend it finish. No any food, no anything, no, no any assistance from government. But this cleric believes lessons should be learned during this pandemic. What we are passing through now is a test from God that God has told us in the Quran that will be testing us with different ways. He said about those who are patient and who are God conscious, they are, they are the ones that Allah has given victory over it. In the spirit of social distancing, gatherings have been banned. What this means is that Muslims cannot gather to pray. We followed Mr. Suleiman to his residence in Guarimpa to see how his family members will break their fast. It's busy time in his kitchen as his wives prepare for the day's meal. There is a call to prayer. At exactly 6.40 p.m., Mr. Suleiman leads his family to say the dawn prayer, preparatory to breaking the day's fast. His children say they miss summons at Ramadan. The theory is going to, like, we go to the mosque to listen to sermons from imams. We learn more about Quran and what the Prophet and Allah has asked us to do during the month of Ramadan. So that is what I miss most about Ramadan. For the Suleiman family and many like it, everywhere is mosque. Nonetheless, it is their wish that Nigeria attains a flattened curve in the number of positive COVID-19 cases so that economies can pick up. Jokeya Disa, TVC News, Abuja.